Okay, there's a very, very simple reason why these things are very hard to animate. One, they've got a great deal of fortification against corrections. So if you start correcting them, you're going to be doing it forever because they are very resistant to corrections. <laughs> so you can't fall into that dynamic. You can't fall into a dynamic where you're correcting them because now... They're, and I think we need to tell people that my bully breeds are going to be very, very much more so fortified against any physical corrections. Does that make sense, Mike? Just due to genetics, a small physical correction may not be as effective as it would be on a poodle. If the dog is fortified against these corrections, it, if you said yes, people thinking dogs do. That's why these things keep fighting, even though they're getting thrown around and all this other stuff. Look at what you people used to do. Don't get me started on you people, Mike. <laughs> you people. That's just something I say, but you people and your bull baiting and this, that, and the other. Don't make me go get that stuff out. The, you bloodletting bastards. <laughs> You're supposed to say you people are the ones that got the pit bull. True, true, true. But it's a tractability issue. If you said tractability is the trait they breed for, as far as I know. <laughs> as far as I know, tractability is a quality that they're looking for. All right, let me let him rest a minute because I just did a video. I like to do the video first because he's got a limited, uh, he's got a limited, but it's very easy. Oh, he's all about the, he's my service dog, Mike. He's my emotional support dog. <laughs> He's a test dog. But it's... <sighs> if you, you know, and I mean again, Mike, you know as well as I do, nobody else trained this dog but me. Nobody else trained this dog but me, and it's carefully crafted. And it was a really extreme case, but the use of indirect pressure was what caused the seismic shift, Mike. If you're the only one that's there, you're listening. The use of massive, massive <laughs> indirect pressure resulted in this. If you said, oh, he's worried something might come out of there and get him. He did though, he's a big chicken lover. His whole attitude was a proactive approach. If you said, well, he was raised in a home with another dog and they play fought all the time. Yeah, that would be believable. And in between they played tug. Oh, that would be believable. Oh, I want him to use my leg for a pillow. Sure, he's getting slime all over it. It's always going to be, though. I mean, he, they can see the slightest. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's ever alert. So, again, the dog says to itself, the only move it has, there's, it's not a threat. It's not going to be coming towards me. And I'm very, if he acts friendly and... That's where you people go wrong. It acts friendly, wags its tail, they pet it. We're buddies now, do what I want. He doesn't see me like that at all. He sees me only based on what he's seen. I'm delighted by certain behaviors. Other than that, I'm extremely deadpan. <laughs> and I do give up free samples. <laughs> if you said this all somehow meshes together. <laughs> so this, the chase broke out of her cage. She better be smart enough not to come up here. So I'm gonna do the pager. I'm just gonna do the little twirl thing. So I think you just have to tell people that, Mike. That's the initial subtask. Just go up there. How good can you actually just go up there? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's the initial subtask. How good can you actually just go there? Alright, watch. Well, she's got Air Angus down to a science now. Ah! Oh, hi, 
Hi, Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc, how are you? Anyway, so I'm using this pager on zero. And if it's, it's just it's that simple, Mike. If, 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 if the food happens around the pager, if you said before, after, whenever, yeah, that seems like there's a little flexibility there. It, it's gonna be linked. Okay, so the dog is over there. If you said get it to the platform. Oh my God. <laughs> Off here too. Hang on, watch. Let's do it over here better. Just say, what does it look like when you're? It looks like his face right by my face. <laughs> anyway. So, all right, so what you see, I mean, he's out of gas now, but that's why I did the video. I started to go live, and then I did the video first, because, you know, if you said it's not animated, you don't think it's animated. It is. If you said, now, how do you get it to rest? Oh, he's like, he's like, yeah. He's got to rest. He's got to rest. As it is, it turned out to be a really, really cool dog. I mean, I was. It was very... Remember, Mike, they called and said... It tore out of the truck that was bringing it to your house and ran back to the Humane Society and started attacking the other dogs behind the fence. If you said, what did I say? Mother of God. <laughs> yeah, he busted out the woman's window. They wouldn't let her put him in the back in a cage. She had a cage in the back, but they wouldn't let him put her in there. They said, no, 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 put him in the front. If you said, then what happened? He busted, she had the window down. He busted out the window. He's my best friend, you know. So, anyway, it's a super cool dog. It's a super cool dog, so. Oh, hi, Laura. I worked the Doberman earlier. I can do a quick deliberate hand if I've got an object here real quick. Hang on, let me grab his dumbbell. Or no, he does keys. Hang on, hang on. Oh, he's so hungry. Oh, he's so Okay, so he does, I don't even have my remote. I don't have remote. He does a deliver to hand with these keys. So I'm not making it some real big secret. He's cute as hell. All right, let me do just a quick video of this, and I'll be back. I got one more. You guys, if you have any episode that you want or whatever, I'm, I'm going to just do like a quick little group one, so I'll be right back.